Hello buddies, welcome back. In today's project, I want to process 8 computer motherboards. Here I have 8 computer motherboards which been sorted in year of manufacture uh, and actually DDR class. And this one is 3.3 volts. On this motherboard is written 2.5 volts on the RAM slot, which is blind to DDR RAM. And there is two BGA chips on this motherboard, but only one of them which is on the side does contain gold and the other one which is in the center doesn't contain any gold bond wire. To start processing motherboards, BGA chips, transistors and all IC chips on the board been separated using a heating gun. You should be careful about capacitors on the board that may explode after exposing to the heat. So it's good idea to separate and cut them first. Also the ceramic capacitors may contain some silver or even palladium, so it's good to separate them first. I was told by a friend that mixing urea nitrate and an organic acid like citric acid will make a kind of weak nitric acid which dissolves solder without causing any harm to the copper and gold plating. So I decided to try this at a higher scale than that my friend told me. I've cut some boards and placed them in this vessel and filled this with water. Afterwards I added 80 grams of urea nitrate to the board. You should be careful about urea nitrate which is an energetic material that shouldn't be stored for a long term. You can make it easily in the batch you want to process by addition of some urea and dilute nitric acid. But in this experiment I use pure urea nitrate since I didn't want to add extra nitric acid to the solution to determine the ability of urea nitrate much better when it's in pure form. Then 100 grams of citric acid been added. Solution pH was around 1, seems enough acidic to dissolve thin metal. I made a smaller scale of this solution to test our CPU, RAM and BGA chips being separated from the boards. The small scale seemed work pretty good and majority of parts been detached and fallen at the bottom but still we have to mess with metastanic acid which is pretty nasty and form even in this batch in the larger batch some parts like capacitors seems become loosened but some bigger parts like slots which been tightly soldered still are in place firmly Urea nitrate and citric acid seem work good for cleaning parts when solder thickness isn't too much. But this is a time consuming process for large batch. So I decided to finish the job by expanding the solution and adding some nitric acid. Of course it is a bad idea using nitric acid to detach component from PCB. Since this process will make some metastanic acid, but in urea nitrate process we have already made some metastanic acid and I just wanted to finish this with nitric acid. I washed all motherboards by addition of some dishwashing soap to make sure all gold foils would fall into the vessel. All gold foils which been liberated into the solution from the gold pins and other gold plated parts from the motherboard is contaminated with metastanic acid. To wash metastanic acid I use concentrated and hot solution of hydrochloric acid to dissolve some stannic ion into the solution and reduce them to the stannous by addition of aluminum foil. And that's how I wash and clean gold foils from metastanic acid. 
There is two important points that you should consider before going through this process. The first important point is washing adequately to make sure there is no nitric acid remaining between the gold foils to make aqua regia with hydrochloric acid and dissolving gold foils. And the second important tip is filter solution, filter hydrochloric acid solution while still it is hot to make sure no more metastatic acid will precipitate back from the solution and contaminate gold foils again. That's how you can clean your gold foils easily by doing some chemistry. As you can see, solution turns yellow after boiling metastatic acid powder in the hot concentrated hydrochloric acid. Actually, this is a stannic ion which is dissolved in the hydrochloric acid. When you add an aluminum foil to the solution, you reduce back the stannic ion to stannous which is more soluble and you can easily dissolve all metastatic powder which is alongside with gold foils. I washed gold foils several times with hydrochloric acid and the last time with water and I place it on the hot plate to evaporate and reduce volume as much as I can. At the meantime I'm just uh, detaching BGA chips from the motherboards to make them ready to be processed. Still there is some impurity alongside with gold foils which would not cause any problem. Actually the some plastic particles from the motherboard slot is in the solution which was oxidized with nitric acid and uh, separated like a sponge. Finally I added some hydrochloric acid to the gold foils which is pretty impure and then I start adding some nitric acid to make aqua regia and dissolve gold foils. I also wanted to process BGA bottom green fiber. So I added uh, some hydrochloric acid to this fiber and then I added some nitric acid drop wise to make aqua regia. Since there is some copper alongside with this gold plating on this fiber, we need some more nitric acid to make sure that all copper and gold will dissolve. I let both solution gold foils and BGA bottom layer to sit for several hours with aqua regia and there might some gold precipitate back since we had some base metals like copper in the solution. To fix that, I decided to add some very dilute solution of bleach to make sure if there is any colloidal gold in the solution and very fine gold particles in the solution to be dissolved and then I started to filter solution. Since there isn't too much gold in the BGA bottom layer and also gold pins from only 8 motherboards, I decided to mix these two solutions to make it more recoverable from this solution. Eventually ferrous sulfate solution added to drop gold. Since solution is quite dirty, it is recommended to add ferrous sulfate instead of SMB. All IC chips, transistors and BGA chips which were separated from the motherboards been added to this beaker. Just enough concentrated sulfuric acid added to cover IC chips. I decided to transfer beaker on a hot plate and place a ice filled round bottom flask on the top to condense all acid fumes. Process took about 1 hour to become completed. Wet ashing process is quite fast for BGA chips but it really takes time to dissolve plastic on the transistors. Now there is some copper that need to be dissolved before addition of aqua regia. Afterward, some water added followed by addition of some nitric acid to make dilute nitric acid, which is much easier to handle acid fumes coming out. When all copper parts been digested in dilute nitric acid solution, the copper solution was poured and washed with some water. And here the only metal which is left in the solution is gold bond wires.
Then some hydrochloric acid been added to start forming aqua regia. Some milliliters of nitric acid been added drop wise. We don't need too much nitric acid to dissolve gold. According to this equation, only 0.7 milliliters of 60% nitric acid would dissolve 1 gram of gold. So this would give us better perspective view to prevent addition of extra nitric acid. Gold from previous step wasn't too much. I also added them to aqua regia to be refined. When reaction been completed and no more bubbles was coming out of the solution, I started filtering solution. I checked residue and there was no more gold left. Some sulfamic acid been added to neutralize nitric acid remain in the solution. I started heating solution to accelerate process. Then SMB added and solution left for gold to drop completely. If your beaker wouldn't be completely clean and degreased, some gold will stick to the wall, exactly as mine. And here we got gold precipitated and clean. Uh, actually, there are very fine particles and now I just want to remove this water on the top. So let's do that. Right, water is siphoned from the top and now I want to transfer this gold powder to this small beaker here. I start drying process by heating gold powder from the bottom with hot plate and from the top with heating gun to prevent solution bumping. Afterwards gold powder was transferred to the crucible to be melted. And that's it, this is our gold, which is ready. Gold bead added to diluted sulfuric acid solution to become clean completely. Zero point three grams of gold from 8 motherboards or about 5 kilograms of motherboards. I think it was much easier to recover uh, compared to cell phone boards and easily you can get decent amount of gold from motherboards much easier while processing and also I think it's really worth it. Alright we are done with this project and hope you enjoyed see you next time